I am God and there is no one like me. This is God speaking. Isaiah 46 verse 10. I make known the end from the beginning. Somebody say it strong. Say God, God. makes known God. The, end the end from the beginning. From the beginning. Then he says something very interesting. He says, from ancient times, what is still to come. Watch this. Somebody says, God makes known what is still to come. Say what is just around the corner. The title of my message tonight is Just Around the Corner. I have a friend named Miles Monroe. We've been raised up together in ministry for the last 20 years, and Miles is smarter than me, so I said to Miles, I said, Miles, what does it mean that God knows your end from the beginning? He says, that's, that's a simple little brother. He said, that means that God knows your past, he knows your present, but he also knows your future reality. The Bible says that God knows what is still to come, what is just around the corner. See, every day you you, you go by corners. In in order to not hurt your feet, you got to go around corners of, of furniture. You will see all night, I will navigate around corners. You will drive to your house tonight and have to go around a corner. A corner is a bend or a curve. See, some of you are in debt, but just around the corner, someone's about to get out. Somebody's single, but just around the... Just around the... Some about to find somebody. See, I was talking to my friend Quincy Jones... I go meet him at his house, and we have Bible studies, and he supports me, and he's smart, you know, Quincy Jones is smart, and he was telling me about this lady named Oprah Winfrey, and Oprah Winfrey was making $9,000 a year working in Chicago, you know, she was a newscaster, and he was there getting an award, and he watched her on TV, so he called his friend Steven Spielberg and said, I think we got the lady to play that part on The Color Purple. I'm going to bring this lady in. But he laughed, and he said, you know, you know what, Tim? He said, Oprah didn't even know we were talking behind her back for one month. Her life was about to change, but she didn't even know it. See, you don't understand... That there's been some talk behind your back and your life is about to change. See, I saw the audition tape because then Quincy says, you may not believe this, so I got the tape. I'm going to show you the tape. Just me and Quincy sitting there in that big old house that that looks like a big old hotel that he lives in over there in Beverly Hills. And so he puts the tape in and and it's Oprah and Danny Glover and she's auditioning for the role. See, there was a time where Oprah tried something. He said, but prior to this, for one month, Spielberg and I were talking behind her back. And her life was about to change forever. See, heaven has been talking behind your back. You better clap on this side over here. Come on. You better. You won't catch this. Heaven has been talking behind your back. And something is about to hit just around the just around the hay. See, there are unknown corners and there are known corners. Known corners you can handle. You, you know how to navigate a corner. Some of you kids that are driving now, you're all feeling cute. You're 16, you're 18. You're like, hey, come on, somebody. Talk on my cell phone. I could text people. Come on, somebody. Going around the corner. You're okay with known corners. It's unknown corners that make some of you scared. Well, what's around the, I got to understand what's around. I'm a little scared what's around the, hey, what's around, what, I don't even know, know what's going to be around. God says that I know what's around the corner. Ooh. He says, I know, 1992, I was preaching at this church, you know. 
It was me, Benny Hinn, and a guy named James Robinson. And I come off the platform. This young preacher comes up to me. He's older than me, but he's young. And he comes up to me and says, brother, brother, if I could just have a minute of your time. Brother, brother, if I could just have a minute of time. At the time, he had 300 people in his church. So he says, my brother, man, man, oh my God, I've been trying to get you in my church. He says, it's not a very large church. It's 300 people. And he said, I'd like you to come to my church, 1992. I said, what is your name? He said, my name is T.D. Jakes. I said, well, good to meet you, T.D. Jakes. In 1992, we didn't know who T.D. Jakes was. But just around the corner. Come on, somebody clap. Just around the, somebody shout. Come on, just. Come on, clap. Give the Lord a clap and a shout like you just caught that. Hey! Two thousand five on the cover of Time magazine. Could this be the next Billy Graham? Church of twenty five thousand members. Ministry brings in about eighty million dollars a year. Just around the hey. Just around the, hi, just around the, you never know who you're sitting next to. In, in 1989, I was preaching at a church. In 1989, I was preaching at a church. And the guy from the center camera, right where that beautiful lady is, the center camera, after the service, came up to me and he said, Oh, I just want to tell you, Tim, I love your ministry. Man, you're so real. You're down to earth. And I am the pastor's son. And I want to know, do you want it in one inch tape or three quarter inch tape? Because they would give you the tape, you know, for, for if you had a TV show or whatever. And so they give you the tape. And I said, well, what's your name? He says, my name is Joel. His name was Joel Osteen. In 1989, he ran the center camera but God knew just around the corner he was going to have a church of 30,000 people. You better. Come on, shout on this side. Hit the person next to you. Say, you better believe it. Hit, hit them. Push them around and wake them up. Oh, I'm just warming up. I don't even know you. It's like a first date. I got to start slowly. Go to Luke chapter 1, verse 26. Say, just around the corner. Say it again. Say, just around the corner. I'm here to tell you, some of you are going to get so far out of debt, you will not even remember what debt smells like. Come on. Come on. Someone's going someone's gonna to have one house to live in and two houses to rent out. We got fashion designers here. We got hip-hop artists here. Come on, somebody. We, we got entrepreneurs here. We got powerful women here. Come on. We got powerful men here. We got powerful housewives. Excuse me that I actually believe all this. Luke chapter 1, verse 26. In the sixth month, God sent an angel Gabriel to Nazareth a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph. Somebody say pledged. Pray. It goes on to say, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. Say Mary. Pray. The angel came to her and said, Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Oh, this is going to get good. Can I help you a little bit? Mary was a teenager. When you're young and innocent, things are different. Watch little kids. It rains, they try to catch it with the mouth. Old people try to hide. A young person goes to a house they've never been in. They are racing around corners. You got to stop them. Hey, kid. Flow down. Huh? Old people, come on, somebody. Walking all slow. <laughs> innocence, innocence is an amazing thing. Most of you lost a lot of it. How do I know it's going to be around the corner? 
Let me check this brother out. Is he going to be around the corner or not? <laughs> Mary was innocent. She was going to marry a guy named Joseph, and she was excited about it, and so she was going to get married. And when someone gets, is about to get married, they're thinking about getting married. About my dress. Come on, somebody. Who I'm going to invite, who I'm not going to invite. So she's thinking, I'm going to marry Joseph. Do, 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 do. I'm going to marry Joseph. And all of a sudden, bam, an angel shows up, and she goes, lean back. The angel says, greetings, Mary. In other words, how you doing? Heaven has been talking behind your back. And we need you, if you're open to it, to have the Messiah. She didn't have to because you have a free will. But see, it, it had been prophesied in Isaiah 61 about the mission of Christ. It had been prophesied in Isaiah 53 about what he'd have to do on the cross. It had been prophesied in Isaiah 9, 6 about his name. See, there are things that have been prophesied, they're in the spirit, but it takes somebody with guts to run up underneath the prophecies. Somebody give the Lord a clap and a shout. Come on, you be, You... Somebody get... <laughs> Woo, if you only knew where I'm going with this. Watch. See, the spirit world is more real than the natural. Look at me. And the spirit world goes before the natural. That's why even though you give your two weeks notice, you're there in your body, but your spirit's already gone. Once you give the notice, you, you're gone. When you know you're going to break up with him, but yet you have not spoken it, you're already gone. He can say cute things. Come on, somebody. He can sit, give you flowers. Come on, people. He can leave cute messages, and you're like, bless his heart, because you're already gone. See, the spirit world had set up Mary. But now she had a choice if she was going to take what was just around the Because in her mind, I'm going to marry Joseph. Now this is deep because she was pledged to be married. The word pledge means she made a vow, not just with Joseph, but with his parents, with her parents, and with the village. It's not like today, like if J-Lo, come on, gets engaged to Ben Affleck. You don't know if, you're going, if they're going to do it or not. I'm going to marry Joseph Angel. Bam. Not a typical angel. Gabriel. Hello. <laughs> bling, bling, angel. He says, greetings. Greetings, Mary. I have just come from the presence of Jehovah El Young. Heaven has been talking about you. We would like you to have the Messiah. So she leans back. The Bible says that she was greatly disturbed. It's a Greek word, diaterasso, which means I'm shaken. Ooh, I'm shaken. Why? Where God's taking you is so big, at first, it's going to shake you. Somebody's about to do something big. You better clap. Why don't you clap like God is big enough to pull it off? Hey! <laughs> it's powerful. It's real. It's in the Bible. So she leans back. She's Dia Terrasso. But I like what she does. Her innocence gets the best of her. Then she goes like this. Look. Watch. She goes... How will this be since I'm a virgin? Watch. In other words, she goes like this. Watch. Tell me more. Somebody lean forward. Lean forward. Say, tell me more. Let's try that again. Say, somebody say, 
Tell me more. Somebody again, say, 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 tell me more. See, the angel said, it's going to happen. She gets all freaked, but then she comes back to her innocence. She goes, I'm a virgin, so tell me more. I'm into this, but it's kind of blowing my mind. Most people don't do that. Here, I have a gift to motivate people. They come from all over the world, and they line up. But yet, I still have about 80 of you. You're trying to figure it all out. Is he a Puerto Rican? <laughs> Why do you know? Because I know people. And you're trying to figure. I'm trying to figure it out, brother. You know why? Because life has knocked the innocence out of you. It's good teaching, huh? See, most people, see, I get to talk to the best people on a weekly basis. I won't tell you who, but just believe me, it's scary. But these powerful people, whether they be ministers or people who are just shaking the planet, like a Bono or somebody, now listen to they have an innocence. You look at people who aren't doing much, mm, life has knocked the innocence out of them. They're suspicious. Come on, somebody. They're trying to figure it out with 2% of their brain. <laughs> Somebody wave say, good teaching. Just wave like that, good teaching. <laughs> so she goes like this. Tell me more. Lean in. Somebody say, say, tell me more. Verse 34, how will this be, Mary, asked the angel, since I'm a virgin. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One will be born, will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. Verse 37. For nothing is impossible with God. Somebody here is going to have the best three years of your life because nothing is impossible with God. This church is going to double because nothing is impossible with God. Somebody... Come on, shout like you believe it. I ain't playing. I, I, I'm living what I'm talking about. <laughs> I live in Beverly Hills, and I don't usually tell people, but I'm going to tell you tonight. I live by, down the street is um, Ozzy Osbourne. Across the street is Mike Myers. Around the corner is Ben Affleck, because I'm smart, and I've been doing real estate since I was 20, and I was making 10,000 here, 7,000 here, 8,000 here. Over 20 years, it kind of added up. <laughs> smile if that's a possibility. Don't get mad and don't be a hater, just smile. <laughs> so when I was a kid, we had seven people in a two-bedroom home. Now I have seven bathrooms in an elevator. No, I'm just, I'm talking about my business. My ministry didn't do that. I'm talking about my business. I'm in the restaurant business, the jewelry business. Come on, somebody help me. I'm in the television business. Is that okay? Don't get mad. I'm just telling you about favor. So my aunt, my aunt, who has a real small mentality and is very suspicious, she came to my house for Thanksgiving. And so she pulled, when we pulled up with my mother, she said, how much of this, she still calls me Timmy, how much of this is Timmy's home? Because it's big. Come on, somebody. And it's in Beverly Hills on a big hill. And my mom said the whole thing. She says, no, -uh, that's an apartment complex. <laughs> See, it's one thing if I just talked about it. It's another thing to see God not just bless a ministry, but bless your businesses and bless everything your hand does and everywhere your feet go. And if it can happen to me, it's going to happen to you. And some of you, it's going to happen seven times over. So give the Lord a clap. Come on. Shout. Come, come 
Don't shout over here on this side. I'm not praying. <laughs> I'm not praying with this. I am laying up money for my children's children. Smile real big. Even if you got three teeth, just go. I'm not playing with this. You believe me? It's powerful, huh? I ain't playing. So she says, watch. How's this going to be since I'm a virgin? And the angel said, it's going to be super. Watch. You better stick with me. I'm only going to teach 15 more minutes. It's going to be super on the natural. You ain't going to get where I told you you're going to go by yourself, Joyce. Well, you know I got my own plans. You know, you know, you know I got my own plans. You know. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a mighty God that knows your end. Come on, somebody. From your beginning. Come on, somebody. And he could put his super on your natural and make your life super natural. That's where you're headed. Somebody clap your hands and shout. Somebody say, I'm getting it. Say, go, go, go. I'm getting it. Come on. I'm getting it. So watch. So Mary says, I'm interested. And then she says, how is it going to be? He's gonna be he says, it's going to be supernatural. Watch. Then he says something interesting. He says, even Elizabeth, see, even Elizabeth was not supposed to have a child. And she is supernaturally pregnant too. Watch. Here's the problem. You big dreamers try to tell your dreams to people who didn't get it. Have you ever tried to tell somebody your dream and they give you the Benji the dog look? Come on. Woo! Because as our friend Fred Price says, you cannot get an FM radio station on an AM dial. See, I talk in parables. If I don't know somebody, I talk in parables. I told pastor that today. They may say, oh, brother, what are you up to? I said, well, step by step, I'm doing my best. <laughs> brother, what you up to? I saw you. My God, I saw you on CNN News with Russell Simmons and Bono. Well, how was that? I said, well, it was an experience. I don't talk because I don't know you. And I don't want anybody getting no negative spirit on me. Because what's on you will rub off. It's called the mashach in the Hebrew. It's, it's the mashach. It's called the rubbing off of the anointing. It's from Elijah to Elisha. It's from Moses to Joshua. It's from Paul to Timothy. Give the Lord a clap and a shout. Come on, shout. Come on. Come on. Come on. God is powerful, huh? God's going to give you people. Have you noticed how God has been rearranging your friendships? And you've been thinking, how come they don't call no more? How come they don't? Well, because they have shifted. They have shifted. See, some people are called you for a season, some for a reason, and some for a lifetime. You better clap real loud. Come on, I got about, come on, I got about seven minutes to finish this. And where you're headed, not everybody wanted you to go, so he had to hook you up with people that say, come on, I'm going to go around the corner, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take that corner. We're going to, come on, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to take that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're going to, come on, come on. We're going to, come on, come on, come on. We're going to take that corner. Somebody shout. Come on, somebody. We're gonna See, watch, sit down. The angel didn't say, go back and tell Joseph. Go back and explain to your mama. It was too big for the mama and for Joseph. The angel said, go to the house of Elizabeth because she already is going around the corner. 
And so Mary ran to the house of Elizabeth. Come on, clap your hands, all you people. Shout. Shout unto God. See, I'm going to tell you something. Not everybody's believing what the Bible's saying. There's a tribe of us. There's a tribe of us. There is a tribe of us. That's why the other day T.D. Jakes would not let me out of his office. He said, you little brother, you ain't going nowhere. You stay there. Because, see, those of us that are dreamers, we got to talk. And we talk and we talk. And we were on the floor talking. And we, we talk and we share. And we talk and we, sh and we share. See, it's dreamer to dreamer. See, not everybody's talking dreamer to dreamer. See, you got some people trying to mess with you, jealous of you, cut you, stab you in the back, twist the knife. Come on, shout over there. I'm trying to talk about... Come on, come on, Augusta. Come on, you're bringing it out of me now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a lot. There's a lot in there, Augusta. No wonder you lost your innocence. People messed with you. They tampered with you. Look at the little kids. How much they like this. You little guys like this, huh? Come on, you little dreamers. It's the little kids that love Tim's story. They're like, wait, come on, brother, come on. Do you really know Snoop Dogg? Yes. Watch. You can sit down. Go to the house. Almost done, watch. Go to the house of Elizabeth, for she is already coming around the corner. Mary, man, she's walking by faith because now she's not going to marry Joseph right now. And she's saying, her mind's tripping. I got to tell Joseph. I got to tell Joseph. I got to tell my mama. I got to tell. I got to. And she's running. She's running. She's doing. She's doing. Heaven said, go to the house of Elizabeth. But Elizabeth is waiting. And as soon as Mary comes in the door, Elizabeth goes, blessed are you, Mary. In other words, you co girl. to say yes, Mary. You go, girl. Bless it on you, Mary. What if it had been the wrong friend? Waiting for Mary because she's going to have Jesus. And she's only going to have John the Baptist. The angel knew. Sent her to the right. Friend. So all of a sudden, Elizabeth starts prophesying. You go, girl. Blessed are you. You stepped into it. You leaned forward. You said, hey. And all of a sudden... Elizabeth, baby, begin to jump. See, you'll know when you're around a real dreamer because the baby in you will jump. When I saw that pastor, my baby jumped. Somebody shout. Come on, somebody shout. When I saw the pastor, when I... I, I, I was staying in the hotel, you can sit down, and I, and I came around the corner, and I saw the pastor, and I went, hey... But I've, I've seen other pastors, and I feel their jealousy. I feel them judging me. I feel them looking at me, trying to look for something wrong in me, because maybe too many good things have happened in my life. But I saw him, and my baby jumped, and my, my dream jumped, and my, my dream. See, when you're around a real dreamer, your baby will jump. Your dream will, well, your dream will, your dream will. Come on, come on, come on, come on, your dream. Come on, 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 come on. Come on, come on, come on, make that baby jump. Come on, come on, come on, make that, make that dream. Give the Lord a clap and a shout. Go ahead and shout like you got energy. There's a new generation. Sit down. We're not like your typical uptight preacher. Praise God. My God, I'm so big, praise God, I can't talk to anybody, praise God. 
What a joke. What a joke. You're going to see me after the service. I'm going to be in the back talking to people, teasing, hey, signing stuff. Because that's part of my assignment. Since when did I become the big deal? I'm the servant of you. Somebody give the Lord a clap and a shout like you can. Come on, clap like you got energy. Why don't Come on. Come on, come on. Stand up and clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands, all you people. Come on, shout. Come on, shout. 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 Shout unto God. Come on, shout. You got to hurry, brother. Give me that nice keyboard sound you you do. Come on, Pete. Someone wave your hand like this. Say, say thank you, Jesus. See, what you're going to feel is the anointing, but it's going to be strong. Because I'm going to ask the Lord to tune it up a little bit. Because I only have one night here. It's going to be really heavy, see. It's going to be really heavy, see, because you never know who's in this room. Someone's in this room that's going to lead 70 of their family members to Jesus. Some in this room is, is here going to lead more celebrities to God than maybe I have. Someone's going to live in Hollywood. Someone's going to bust out on the left. Someone's going to bust out on the right. Someone's going to have their own show on BET. Someone's going to have a lot of real estate. Someone's a powerful grandmother at 73. And you say, well, what am I doing? What are you doing? You're living a holy life and helping your grandkids. That's what you're doing. And you never know who you're discipling. Lift your hands towards heaven. Say, Jesus, talk to me. Say, what's happening? Just around the corner. Now, if you pray in the Spirit, begin to pray in the Spirit. Somebody say, Jesus. Jesus. Say, change people. Change. Just around the corner. You may be seated. Now, give me you. Come over here. Give me one usher. Yeah, come faster, brother. I don't have all day. I'm not your typical preacher. Close your eyes. Here's what's going to happen to him. Watch. The power is going to hit him. It's going to go through him because that's a gift I have. Now, he's going to have a choice. Look at me, everybody up here. Look at me up here. He's going to have a choice. He can, when the power hits him, he can push it out like most Americans do. When the power hits him, they get scared. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't want to fall like they do on TV. That's what most Americans do. Go to Nigeria with me. They go. Phew. No, look at them. Go, go with me to Indonesia. They go, hey. Go with me to Hollywood. They go, bring it on, little brother. Because they're, they're desperate. They know they're, they know they're crazy. Here we do all the religious thing. Praise God, brother. I got it together. Praise God. Oh, really? Breathe that in. Boom. Through you. So he just drank it in. Now, come over here. You don't have a gun or anything on you, do you? Breathe in. Boom. Through you. He's right behind you. See, that's a gift on me since I was 20. I could have got real stupid and ridiculous with it. Praise God. My God, who's ever moved in such power? I chose not to, and no wonder God gives me more. I like you in the red. Come over here. When I call you, come fast. <laughs> Boom. See, when you come slow, you just thought yourself out of a miracle. Because I've been studying this for 20 years. I watched all the old Or Roberts videos and Catherine Coleman. If somebody came slow, when they got up, they were thinking, oh, my God. Hope he doesn't see what I did with Al in 78. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Smile real big. If you've got three teeth, just go. Give the Lord a big clap. I only need two ushers up here. One of you go down there. Somebody clap your hands like you got energy. Come on, you going to bring it out of me or not? Is your wife here? The second row? Yeah, is your wife here? Bring her quick. You guys got a smile on my stage, though. You got a smile on my stage. 
Run up here, run up here, run up here, run up here. Somebody catch him. Bam, through you both. Bam, through. Somebody give the Lord a clap and a shout. Come on, bring it out of me. Come on. Let's, are you going to bring it out? I mean, if a, catch him. Bam, see, if a man had a gift like this, I would bring it out of I'm only here for one night. If I had a, if there was a man, come, somebody clap your hands because. It's going to be powerful tonight, Pastor. See, I like you so much, I'm going to just bring it on now, see. You in the red, come over here. You're going to get money. You're going to get healed. Your back's getting better. Your hips are getting better. Bam, through you. Bam, through you. Bam, through you. Bam, through you. Through you. Come on, Augusta. I told you I wasn't normal. I was not born to be normal. I'm not regular. <laughs> my mama didn't order regular. We need something different to pull my family out of hell. My mama did not order regular. See, my mama didn't order regular. Three generations alcoholic. It took me. See, now, I'm out, now I have no debt. Now my mother has no debt. See, my mother lives in a big house, all paid off, all her bills paid. Are you with me? My sisters have big houses. My children are blessed. Come on, somebody. Give the Lord a clap and a shout. Why don't you shout like you I'm trying to help people. Sir... Is your wife here in the red tie? Bring her. Or is he by himself? Huh? The daughter, bring the daughter. You're both getting healed. Usher, you got to help these people up. What you all doing up here? Oh, he going to get healed. Hey. 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 Hey, what happened to your legs? They told me that I have terminal cancer. Yeah. And that I won't be able to be here too much longer, but I know God is able. Somebody clap like he's able. like he's able. I'm not able. Pick him up. Let's get him to walk right. It'll build their faith. You say, where are you? I'm gone, baby. I'm in a zone. You want to watch my style? You're going to see. I don't, I don't, I'm not the big deal. If I, if I thought I was a big deal, it like, it, you remember they had the donkey that came into Jerusalem? Jesus had to ride on something and he was riding on a donkey and they're going, hail him, hail. What if the donkey stopped and said, ooh, they're talking about me? How stupid would I be to think I'm a big deal because this gift is on top of me? Come on, no, just come on. That's not false humility. It's just, it's just reality. You say, well, how do you get this gift? I, listen to me. Number one, it's sovereign. It hit me when I was 20. Number two, I paid a price for it. I don't have a normal life. I can't talk to everybody. I can't go out everywhere. Are you with me? I, I don't trust everybody. I got seven stalkers right now. People want to hit me, kill me. You were there when I got hit in the head. People hit me over the head with a baseball bat. You have a gift like this, the devil doesn't get happy. But no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Come on, clap. Go ahead, God. I'm over here in Augusta. Bring it on. Come on, go ahead. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Somebody shout. Somebody praise him.
You guys can sit down. How long has it been that you felt that good? January last year. What did you feel go through your body? Sensation of feeling went through my body. What happened to the pain? I don't have no pain. You have no pain. Move your body around. Hey, 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 hey now. Come on, pick up your legs and walk. Pick up your legs and walk. Somebody clap your hands like he's able. Hey, catch her. Miss, bam, through you. I'll break all that. Bam, close your eyes. I'll break, I'll break all that off you. See, I'll break. You, 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 your whole family. Bam, is getting a revival. Bam, a revival hits your family. Go ahead, Tim Story. Step on into it. Come on, clap your hands and let's go. Come on, shout a little bit. It's deep, huh? Come over here. Tell them what it's like up here. <laughs> when I stood here, I just felt something <laughs> run through me. I was, I don't know. <laughs> it's the power of God in this place. I got to teach you young guys because, you know, everybody's asking me, why is this happening to you? So I've been asking the Lord. Because the young guys like me. I, just, I got this new following of like young people. I'm even on MySpace. Tim Story, S-T-O-R-E-Y. Hit me up tonight. Tim Story, S-T-O-R-E-Y. Now look, I got this young. So I've been talking to the young kids. And I think one reason is I didn't get like those other preachers. Praise God. Look at me. Praise God. Whatever. I have an innocence in my heart. And I go like this. I shift my satellite dish to God and I go... You can do it. And he responds. Somebody clap like you just heard that. Come on, clap your hands. You can sit down. Bring me that little world shaker, the little one in the red there. Come here, little world shaker. Come on, clap for him. Come on. High five. High five, Uncle Tim. Close your eyes. It's good to have a, a rich uncle. It's good to have a rich uncle. You never know, you know. Breathe in. You say, what's that? See, once you touch the fire, you don't want to live in the smoke. <laughs> Tell them what it's like up here, Kenneth. Powerful, powerful. I, when you touched me or when you uh, spoke to me, I just felt like lights went out, feeling a peace and calm. You want me to explain it? Watch. When the anointing comes, it is the burden removing, yoke destroying, power of God. But why does it come so freely? Because God, watch, listen to this, loves it when you draw near to him. See, when you draw near to him. See, most preachers don't praise God. See, that when you draw near to him, he draws near to you. See, watch. So now he's on me. So it's on my body. Watch. Hey. All I did is lean. But you, if I was you, I'd run. Who's catching her? See, I never, I never, I never even touched you. Look, boom. I just. Come on, Augusta, let's go. Come on, shout. Is that powerful? Everybody stand strong. Stand, stand strong. Stand strong. I'm going to teach you something that's going to change you. Watch. I'm going to change you. Watch. See, wherever you shift your satellite dish, say satellite dish. Watch. If you shift your satellite dish tomorrow morning towards, ooh, my life is negative. Ooh, I can't believe that traveling fool left me. Come on, somebody. If you shift your dish towards negative, you pick up negative. If, if you shift your dish towards, oh, I can't lose weight, that's where you... But if you shift your satellite dish to the all things are possible network, you pick up all things possible. Come on, clap like you just caught that. Come on. Now, I can't, I can't tell you who I work with, but it's a lot of heavy people, and you kids would be impressed. 
but I'm trying to work with a lot of the hip hop guys, the biggest, and say, do you all need to be smoking dope to come up with these lyrics? You were raised in the church, why don't you flush yourself out and let God's creative power come in you so you come up with more than I'll take you to the candy shop. Somebody give the Lord a clap and a shout. Come on. Come on, shout like you heard that. Come on. You come up with more than I'm bossy. I'm just telling you how it's working. Woo. Now watch how heavy this is. I'm going to prove something to you, okay? From the first row all the way to the back, just in this area, hold hands with each other fast. But do what the man of God says. Pretend you're in the military. Don't be going across the aisle, miss. I didn't ask you to hold people's hands everywhere you in the pink. Lift your hands up high. Close your eyes. Lean forward. Lean back. Breathe in. Now, there it goes through you. Give the Lord a clap and a shout. Come on, shout like you caught that. Come on, clap like you got juice. Come on, clap like you got juice. Come on, Augusta. Bring me her and bring me these two ladies there. And bring me him in the jacket. Let's talk to the people. You got to find a different song. Stop for a minute. Tell them what that was like when that hits you. You got to watch her, guys. You got to watch her. Oh, God. Oh, oh Jesus. Pete, you're doing an incredible job. I'm deep in the spirit. Look at me. You're doing phenomenal. Look at me. I'm deep. You got to keep rolling with me just like you're doing. I'm so far gone out there. If you only knew what's happening, people's lives are being changed forever right now in the next three minutes. Somebody clap your hands. Thank you, Pete. What's happening? What was it like? It's powerful. Huh? It's powerful. Tell me. See, some of you, 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 some of you are still in the carnal mind, so it just looks like, oh, death, oh, if you, someone's being changed forever, see? Now watch, I'm going to do it different over here on this side, because now your minds are working. I see my brother over there like this, his mind's like, he's chewing gum faster. <laughs> now listen to me. Get your mind out of the way. And let your spirit soar. Let your spirit soar. Watch how it's going to hit lighter. Hold hands. No music. Lift your hands up high. Breathe in. Come on, somebody clap your hands. Shout. Go ahead, God. I'm over here in Augusta. It took me a lot of flights, but I made it, God. I'm over here in Augusta. See, I'm not playing, Pastor. I'm not your typical preacher. I'm not your typical preacher. Do you feel his presence? See, what I want to know, I want to know why he's coming in so thick. See, why are people crying and shaking and quaking? And See, don't let your mind get you out of the, the thing here. Because even the movie stars are going for this, y'all. You say, which ones? You don't need to know that. See, now you in this section, just go, go, go side to side. Go side to side. Come on, loosen yourself up. See, see, you're a little too tight in the head. See, you think too much. You think yourself right out of miracles. You stay up late at night and you think yourself out of miracles. See, watch, watch. I'm going to teach you something. We used to love to watch Michael Jordan play basketball. Watch, because there's a rhythm to his game. LeBron James, there's a rhythm to his game. Xavier Glover, the, the tap dancer, there's a rhythm to his dance. 
to great designers, there's a rhythm to their design. My friend Rodney Jerkins, Dark Child, there's a rhythm to his beats. There's a rhythm in the spirit. And most people don't know how to find the rhythm, Pastor. They're too caught up with themselves. There's a rhythm. There's a rhythm. There's a rhythm. Somebody in the center section go, go like to say there's a rhythm in the spirit. See, there's a see sin will take you out of rhythm. Being critical will take you out of rhythm. Being abused will take you out of rhythm. That's why the devil attacks your life. He's trying to take you out of rhythm. Go like this. Go say there's a rhythm. There's a rhythm. There's a rhythm. Hold hands with each other. Lift your hands. Close your eyes. Look up here. What? Look at me. 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 Look up here. Watch. It's gonna hit you sideways. Breathe in. Close your eyes. Breathe in. Did you hit, see it hit him sideways? It came, it came around, see? I sing glory to your name. Oh, Lord, lay down in that. Somebody clap your hands. Praises to your name. Who sings that song? Oh, Lord. Come on, keep clapping. Turn a couple lights down for me. For your name is great. Just like that. Keep clapping. And greatly to be praised. Come on, keep clapping. Come on, somebody sing. I sing praises. I sing praises to your name. Sing praises. See the anointing? Makes me want to weep. <laughs> For your name. His name is great, boy. And he's worthy. Sing, I sing praises to your name. Sing, I like you, man. I sing praises. Oh, Lord. I sing praises. Woo. You got a big call on your life. You in the green. Come over here. You're going to be in the East Coast, West Coast. Lift your hands, little man. Lift your hands. Close your eyes. Touch him like you're me. Boom. Through you. Through him. Boom. Through him. You can go sit down. It worked. Come here. Got to hurry, brother, when I call you. Lift your hands. Close your eyes. Touch him. Boom. Through him in Jesus' name. Somebody clap your hands. Do it softer this time. Bring me him. That's a powerful man. Come here. Lift your hands. Close your eyes. Watch. Don't make it your power. Watch. Watch. I'm going to teach you something. Look. Watch. Boom. Look at that. Look. No, no, no. Watch this. Watch. Boom. Look at that. See? Boom. Look at that. See? Boom. See, I could train him. See? I could train you, see, see, I could train him, see. Give me my young lady here in the black pants, come here. Lift your hands, close your eyes, close your eyes. Breathe in, use her, boom, to heal the sick. Just lay down in that, boom. You did good, give the Lord a clap. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, I'm almost done, I'm going to get out of here in a second. You should clap real loud. Woo. Come on, clap your hands, all you people. All you hold hands with the seats. Don't be afraid. Close your eyes, breathe in. Bam, it just hits you like an accordion. Ba -ba 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 Same Pete. I want you to sit. Keep my lights down a little bit. Lift your hands and honor him. I don't know how you honor him. If I was you, I would salute him. I'd lift my hands and I would just thank him. You may not be exactly where you want to be, but you're not what you used to be. Just begin to thank him. You want to cry, let it out. Because your life is about to get really good.
Close your eyes. God's taken over this place. Jesus, thank you for touching us. Say, Jesus, heal me. Say, say, Jesus, heal me. Jesus, forgive me. Jesus, help me. Now you look at me. I want you to look up here. There are times I don't feel like coming around the corner. When I was 10, my dad died in a car accident. My mother had to raise five kids working two shifts at a donut shop. My sister, Viola, was saved at 20 she was in a car accident went into a coma for eight days we prayed for her and she still died my brother who was an engineer from mcdonald douglas he got in an accident we prayed he died four years ago doesn't make me happy ticks me off there are times i don't feel like coming around the corner there are times i don't feel like being me wesley i already did it man are you with me I don't feel like being the guy. I don't feel like getting the criticism. I have other gifts. I feel like going whatever to the church world. I'm going to go do my other thing. But the Lord has put responsibility on us. We are the Josephs and the Deborahs to our families. Man and one of us has to come around that corner. Because once you come, here comes your father, your mother, your sisters, your brother. When Rahab was about to come around her corner, she said, I'm going to tell you, spy something. I ain't going nowhere without my father, my mother, my sisters, my brother. And just to tell you another thing, I'm selling my big house. You know why? Because not everybody's happy about it. I used to think that people would be happy. Look at this. You, I've had a couple. But you think they're going to come and they're, they're all going to rejoice. No, no. People might mainly get mad. And I'm learning it's not just about money or bling. You listen to me. I may just get an apartment somewhere. You think I'm teasing Michael? I ain't even playing. It's not about, look at what we got now. No, no, no. It's more about the spirit. Is there anybody in this city that's catching me? Somebody give the Lord a big clap in this place. Come on, clap your hands. Woo! Come on, his presence is in this place. I said his presence is in this place. So let me help you for one minute, and we're almost done. But how many of you, this is a weird trip, man, because I've been on the road too much. I had to sleep all day just to be happy. I'm just telling you the truth because I like you guys now. I was in Honolulu, Hawaii, busting it up. I came to L.A. We had this big old Hollywood meeting. Then I had to run to this conference in Texas with me and Charles Neiman and Tommy Barnett. I had a crazy flight yesterday. I had to go from Texas one part to Houston, Texas to Atlanta, then here. When I got here, I was whooped. And I had seven phone appointments that I have to do because I counseled celebrities each one an hour long. I was half dead going like this. But I had already given my word. Well, just listen. So today, I came down tired. And I look tired. I am God and there is no one like me. This is God speaking. Isaiah 46 verse 10. I make known the end from the beginning. Somebody say it strong. Say God, God makes, known makes known 
the end from the beginning. Then he says something very interesting. He says, from ancient times, what is still to come. Watch this. Somebody says, God makes known what is still to come. Say what is just around the corner. The title of my message tonight is Just Around the Corner. I have a friend named Miles Monroe. We've been raised up together in ministry for the last 